Oh. Oh. Okay. Daku. Yeah. But. All right then. And we are a full group here today, <gasps> yeah. with Nahid included, watching what ReZero. The? Nahid, what did you think about the two episodes you missed? It was, it was, it was really good. It actually it, it brought me way back into the series, man. Uh, what she did with Subaru, you know what I mean? Just at the end over there, and then like, like spieling about like you know everything that he went through and how it could just be a figment of his imagination. That was just crazy. Oh my god, it's nuts. And uh, I don't know. I just feel for Subaru more than anything now. Like he's going through some shit, and he's mm -hmm. just accepting out how things are. And I thought it was really, really big of him to like even just be like, "Hey, thank you for like even like showing me my parents, even though it could not be real." I'm actually happy about that. Yeah, that was that was, yes. that was, that was like really, really sick. That was one of my favorite parts. And just like, man, this last episode hit him trying again. Let's let's see what happens. Oh yeah, so I, I think we had a little mini conversation about that. Do you think there is value in like saying something to someone, even though it's not like you didn't actually say it to that person? Uh, I I don't know, man. I think uh, like. <laughs> You gotta be a very, very, you know, a very positive person because, like, in that moment, he didn't know, and in that moment, it felt really, really special to him. And like, I feel like sometimes life is about the moments. You know what I mean? So if 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 that it was that special to him, and he needed that, then it was that special to him. You know, you take it as what you can take it as, and uh, it obviously really helped him. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. So um, you weren't here last time, but I mentioned that one of our subscribers on Patreon. Uh, enlightened us and said that the author actually uh, confessed about like the real parents just like not knowing where Subaru is yeah and actually still looking for him and it's only been about two weeks in like the real world gotcha since he's been gone that makes a lot of so um, sad so that makes everything sadder yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah it does it really really does so I don't know. Like I said, you the stories progress, and if anything, you really kind of feel for Subaru's plight, man. Bro's been going through it, feeling pain, death, and loss of parents. It's just like, how much more can you like give with the man, bro? He's damn mm. invincible. And now he has been saved by Beatrice. Oh, uh, a big, big thing. Like, I mean, it's it's a dick move to him. He's mad about that for sure. Do is it a dick move though? Oh, I mean, to him, she has no idea that. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. Him. He's mad about it for sure. Like he's gonna yeah. consider it, like a dick move because like he wanted to die again. But she saved him, and I was like, good to be Beatrice too. Like that's she's looking out, man. Oh, one last thing. I know I'm like similar with Subaru. Hey man, man's has gotten some moxie lately, man. He's got some balls, bro. You know what I mean? He he's just got some like moxie. he has, bro. He like you know straight up put. Like, I felt like he put Roswell in his place when he had the conversation with him, and he's just like <clears throat> he just is saying it. You know what I mean? He's his. His confidence has risen a lot more than we first met him. Oh, for sure. I mean, dying a couple of times might do that to you, my personal opinion. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. It's like, what's the worst you can throw at me? Shit, I've been having my head cut off. <laughs> we know there's something that you might be dying to get your hands on out there. <gasps> what is it? Can Mickey, can you show us? It's our merch. Ah! <laughs> oh. This is our shirt. This is a beautiful got, shirt. There's many, many colors. We have tote bags featuring um, art from a contest that we held. So this art is like from our community, and uh, you know, including that one. We're glad yeah. to be Both able to feature are. feature it. And uh, I think this is the same design, but on towels. We got beach towels. We got hey, beach towels. Summer's coming. It's gonna be hot. You're gonna be near water, and you're gonna need something to dry yourself off. Yeah. Why not our faces? <laughs> put our faces on your body. And then you can put, you know, <laughs> after you put our, your, fa your faces on your body, you can put our faces in a bag that you carry with our faces on it. <laughs> <laughs> Links are below if you want any of those cool items. Check them out with different colors, different items. Get summer ready with us. And new designs are coming. <laughs> now back to the wait. Did we do the market? No, we didn't. <laughs> and also, <laughs> there ain't no market substitute for the actual free zero. Please support the OG content on your own behalf. And if you cannot do that, please comment, like, or subscribe our videos. If you want to check out, if you want to jump ahead, please check out our Patreon for a bunch of episodes ahead. Our uncuts are on there as well. Yeah. Free Discord, social media, links below. Yeah. All right, now let's on with the show. Sorry to cut you off, Meg. I just realized I did that. Oh, no, you're totally fine. Like, oh, no, I, I, I feel I, so I, weird. I feel like... I want to splatter. Open the door! Oh, let me that's out too of late, here. buddy. Yeah, dude. Looking like Zuko, for real. It's too late. You're 
only reason for going back into that room has completely vanished, I suppose. Yeah. Bushido. I do miss her saying Bushido. Aww. What is that? She, is she healing him? I think so. Bloody hand? Get away from me! Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Damn it. If you really wanted to help someone, then why didn't you save them? You know you could have done it! There isn't one reason I can think of for me to leave this room and help anyone, I suppose. Whoa. Uh, damn. <laughs> all right. For me, it'll all be rewritten, and this awful present will be set in stone forever. You should have just killed me and cleaned the slate for everybody. I don't understand this. Fine, if that's how it is, then you won't help me. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, no. He tried what if he kills him himself and that he'll die forever? I think he's killed himself before, hasn't he? Yeah. Didn't he give it to her? Right? If I see where I'd make like a death pill. Didn't you know he what get, I mean? Didn't he let like her keep the book? And I let out eat and die I without in pain. Say something. Why aren't you denying all of this? You can ask as often as you like, but I haven't been commanded to answer those questions. You tried to rescue me because the book told you to. And when you saved me after I'd been cursed, and when you helped me when I wasn't even able to stand up! Yes, that's the reason why, I suppose! Everything I've ever done, everything I've ever seen, everything I've ever said to others, every last detail was written down in this book! It's because of the and book? Damn, be your own person! Don't be so full of yourself, human! Every single thing that I've ever done is for mother! You just uh, For mother? Just, uh, yeah. Human! A human! That's all! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Ooh! Damn. Catch knowledge. I was just so happy. <laughs> oh, shit. For real? Is it Elsa? Yes. Stay back. Don't touch her, please. How wonderful. He truly cares about you. She don't play, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so it was well so she saved him for nothing really but hey we got some answers kind of oh my there god there we go <laughs> back at it <laughs> all that's left is to talk to Roswell gotta make sure to ask him about Beatrice this Mr. time Nazi? since I couldn't before hey are you listening <laughs> Just curious, but are you all right? I find your calmness a little concerning. Damn, <laughs> no. he knows him now. Garfield? You're not someone who falls into patterns easily, are you? So what do you want anyway? Is it about the sanctuary? Well, of course it is. What the hell else do you think I want to come out here and talk to you about? <laughs> hey, who knows? You might want some info on Rom. Mm. Though I'm pretty sure she likes tall guys who wear clown makeup. And <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> This. Nah, this ain't the place. Follow me. Now there's another change in the course of events. <laughs> How long has it been since you last saw Frederica? Now why in the hell should I tell you something like that? Just thought it couldn't hurt to ask, I guess. He's just like taking in. He's thinking smartly right now. Yeah, I mean, cause like he he he's a cheat code. Yeah. The restart button, you know. She mm -hmm. needs the mixed blood requirement too. And he has a save so point. She here? Don't ask me. The barrier won't open unless someone passes the trial. I'm the type who wants to have all the information before I start spending a whole lot of time racking my brain for answers. I completely understand that, yep. brother. For real. You gotta know it all before you make a move. Now that I've come out here, are you going to answer my question for me? What exactly do you intend to do with this information? I want to take on the trial and go in place of Amelia. Oh huh? my god, here we go again. When I ran into the graveyard to help her. I came back unharmed, right? That's because I'm qualified to go through the trial. You seriously passed that thing? For the moment, despite your plan, I need you to keep quiet, stay still, and behave yourself. Huh? 
Oh, oh. oh shit. I know you must be wondering why this is happening. But I will not ask your forgiveness. As promised, I will tell no one what you said. You now have my word on the name of Ryu Tsushima. What? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What just happened? He just got kidnapped. <laughs> by... Founded by that but little girl. Why? In the name of Ryu Tsushima, she said. I'll untie you. Just so you know, there ain't no use crying for help. <laughs> Somebody help! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try it, shit. Ain't no oh. need to save someone when all they want to do is die. Nails on fleet. Right? Wait, I seriously don't get why- Now don't play dumb! There's my asthma oozing out of every pore of your entire body. You're a witch cultist! And the smell's been even stronger since you came out of the graveyard. Oh, damn. Yep. Got him. Mm. I don't know what you're planning, but it can't be anything good if the witch's tomb is a part of it. What's the point of trapping and holding me in here anyway? Why not just kill me instead? <laughs> Let's say it's because you have this miraculous way of winning people over. Then what are you going to do with me? Right now, all I'll say is that it's up to Miss Amelia. <laughs> what? To win or to go through a trial, I think. Damn, I didn't expect this. <laughs> I don't think he did either. I know. Like, there's so many phases. But like you, I'll say it in the discussion. He's just like, I'm not. I it, it's, it's what the fuck? Because that's the way he speaks. He speaks with like hindsight. He's like, oh, I know what you're here to talk to me about. Like, and he mentioned like, I'm not gonna let you suicide yourself. Yeah. Like what? He needs to quit talking about things he already like. He needs yeah, to yeah. He, 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 himself. He look. needs to be more subtle about his speech. Anybody who wanders into the lost forest at night alone ain't gonna make it back here too easy. Alone, huh? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, come with me for a minute. I'll no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you go running your mouth like that. Cause if you can keep quiet. <sighs> Bribing him. What is mm -hmm. that? Looks like a rupee. That bastard tied me up way too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll credits. <laughs> I know for sure that whoever's attacking the mansion will wait until somebody gets back there. Have you really just been following the gospel's commands all this time? I told you! Yes, that's the reason why, I suppose! Even if that's true, I would give anything just to hear your voice right now. He's a little snip, man. <laughs> I mean, he's. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys laughing, man? Look at this man. Look at how much he's been through. It's just funny. You know how the show like ends, like the credits are going, but like the show's still going on. Like, <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I just think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Like the whole time he's just. I bet he thought he could trust Garfield, man. He's no, just who like, the fuck is this? He could have if he wasn't so like bold in how he speaks about like what's already happened. But that just shows how Garfield. Man, I mean, then again. I don't blame Garfield because he's like, bro, you're talking about shit that like what like what's yeah, wrong with you? He smell like the witch too. Yeah, yeah. I, w I would think there was something strange about him. I'd be like, fuck, I can't trust this dude. God damn it, super. I just he's talking about things that I've already done, but I haven't like. The two two characters I feel bad for out of all the shows that I'm watching right now is him and Mark Grayson. I mean, <laughs> oh my god! Hey, yeah, him. Is he trying, trying to kill himself? Right? Yeah, that's what I was like. Who well, came just fed him? It looked like Amelia. No, she no, didn't it was the little girl. The, uh, the I know, old but like, in the, I, I know it wasn't, but in the shadow, like at oh. a glance, it looked like it's like. Oh. Thanks, Subaru. You can't always act like you know everything. You'd be in a miserable state, but I must admit this is even worse than I thought. Hmm? No, no, you need to keep quiet. Puck? I'm walking oh on a dangerous path here. Is I this can't on your voice? Catching me now, can I? I think he's just here to try to get information. Otto, no, he's gonna get him out. I don't know. He want that. He want that money. You've been missing for three days. The oh sun's gone God. down, and it's time for the trial. Wait, three days? And the trial is still going on? Are you serious? Miss Amelia has had an especially hard time trying to maintain her composure. In fact, she wouldn't even attempt the trial the next day. She actually declined? You see, the truth is... 
Garfield's been keeping a close eye on me, too, so I've been running around everywhere trying to stay away from him. Let me get this straight. You're saying Garfield's after you now? Yes. I've had to pick up the info secondhand and try to piece it all together, because I've been on the run for a while. Although, Damn, it's pretty Otto. funny how long it got drawn out, considering this option was more fun. Otto, at least he knows Otto to do, you know? Now he knows. I hope so, yeah. I mean, if he resets again. Until the second I looked up and saw your face, I was already starting to believe I'd be better off dead. Even so, I still don't understand why you decided to help me. <laughs> what a compliment. <laughs> when I saw your face, I knew I'd rather be dead. <laughs> like, <thanks. laughs> like, uh -oh. <laughs> Is it really such a strange decision for me? To try and help out a friend in need? Aww. Aww. Hey, why are you standing there with that shocked look on your face? He hasn't had a good friend. Well, you just brought up someone I don't know out of the blue. Who exactly is your friend Deneed? How could you possibly get every part of what I said so wrong? Uh, what are you? I didn't say my okay, friend Deneed. Bro, I said a friend come. in need. A friend in need. A friend in need. So who is whose friend? Oh my god, not at all. <sighs> he hasn't had a friend in a, bit, in a while, so it's hard for him to like even think that. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Killing me! I can't take it! Think I get it now? After all this time, you just wanted to be friends? <laughs> she was blushing. I'm so confused. I don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have known you'd just laugh at me. Well, how could I not laugh? I mean, you aren't the one who's crazy here. Oh my I can't god. Believe how stupid I am. I'm so exasperated with myself. I have to laugh. <laughs> He's probably really happy. Yeah, because he thought he was going to die? Well, he can trust... He, he, he has a friend. He, he can trust somebody, because... I bet that whole Garfield shit really got him, like, got him from left field. Sorry about that. Because you really are my friend, Otto. And I'm glad. Hell yeah. Friend. Damn, that's why the name of the episode is called Friend. This, this, is, good. this is one of my favorite episodes. Okay. <laughs> that one was a little weird for me. <laughs> yeah, what? You guys didn't get that? Was, like, no, I got it. No, it was I just got like, it. It was, just, it was a, just very little... awkward. Like the way he communicates. Yeah. Like I know he's always had these issues, but this one was he's a little especially awkward. awkward. He's a little socially Super? awkward. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he no, thought no. he was gonna die. He's, he's, I mean, okay. but, but he's supposed to be socially awkward. Hey, like, that, so that's literally his. I, I understand it, man. Look. Think about it. He has died so many freaking times, man. And he's trusted mm. so many different people. And each one of these people that he's trusted and that has screwed him over has had an agenda or has had this, like, distrust or not faith in him. You know what I mean? Sure. Look at Garfield, man. You know what I mean? He thought Garfield was A1 for a little bit. I mean, sure. if you think about it in a weird way. And then now dude ends up fucking taking him in and blocking him up forever. Yeah, but it's also Subaru's it, fault. Oh, I, it, okay, <laughs> it is. It is. But the thing about it is if... He had as much of a dedication as oh, oh my god I'm spacing his name Garfield no Garfield oh my god uh dude his friend oh my god which one Garfield Otto 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 yeah if like if dude had enough faith in uh if Garf Garfield had enough faith wait 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 the real question is whether or not that's even possible I can assure you there's no need to worry about that I have a very reliable helper lined up you do. Is it Patricia? I was starting to wonder if you'd arrive before. Oh, again, Wrong. even as an old lady, I'd still be cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ryan. Uh oh. Thanks, Chris. No, this will just confirm for him that. Oh. Okay. Daku. Yeah. But. All right then. But what I was trying to say is, like, he, if Otto had, I mean, if Garfield had enough faith in Subaru as much as Otto did, it would have been different. He wouldn't have that trust. I'm like, okay, yeah, I trust Subaru. He's a good guy. Like, but that wasn't the case. Like, Otto, like, is his friend. It's like his boy. Like, he, like, trust, like, he, you know what I mean? Right. Like, his homie. And I don't think he's really had that. And, like, it's, it's hard for him to, like, finally meet somebody that, like, doesn't have another ulterior motive or an ulterior agenda. 
app. You know what I mean? Mm. But yeah. like he had people in his life that didn't have ulterior agenda. Like Ram and Rem were good well, friends to him. But those are dudes. Amelia those are, is good those, friends those to are him. chicks. He needs. He, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to say it, but like a guy needs a guy, like a a, a boy to trust. Okay, a, a friend. I, I you know. Point, but I legit think like in this also like moment, he thought he was gonna die. He like said, "Hey, hey, that too. I saw your face. I thought I was gonna die." And to hear an answer like that it was the complete opposite of death. I think that like. Kind of like made him go like ah oh, mm. like like lose yeah. it for a second, kind of yeah. laughter, and he's like, "All right, shit, man, I thought you were about to kill me here." Fair well, point. Yeah. Fair it kind of also it kind of also needs to be a little more subtle about like the knowledge yeah, he has because because he, he comes in like completing people's sentences or he like calls a meeting and they're like and people are like, "How the fuck did you know we were just about to talk about this?" But, like you know like yeah. like stuff like that. That Dude. that's why Garfield is. I mean, he literally came in. He's like, "All right, let me guess. You're here to talk to me about that. the trial." He's like, "Uh, yeah, but how the." How'd you know, yeah. Like, how'd you know that? Because, like, like, each time, but, like, he came back, like, the first time Garfield was kind of on his side, he was like, you should take my pl- take the place of Amelia in the uh, test. Like, and each time he came back to life, he's, like, fucking up the more knowledge he has. Yeah, like, it's like he, he's gotten more distant. Yeah. yeah, and every time he comes back, Garfield's more and more angry. Yeah, uh-huh. but it also sounds like Garfield knows... So, first of all, they got mad at him for having... And suspicious of him for having the witch's scent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, you know, something that... In the season one was talked about a lot and then in season two it was kind of like just an afterthought and yeah. now it's coming back in prominence and it's like elsa's back again too mm-hmm. yeah. so i don't know if there's a connection there but um what was i gonna say garfield keeps keeps mentioning kind of also like he knows that subaru is able to come back from the dead it, and that that was very confusing. I feel like I should like rewatch this episode just like, so I understand knows it better. That he's coming back to the dead. Well, it's it seemed like mm-hmm. he like he mentioned some things that was kind of suspicious. Like he almost knew that Subaru can like he was like, don't you like go kill yourself and shit like that. And I'm like, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, I think why why would you not want that? <laughs> like, yeah. Clearly, that you think this person is uh, like has the witch's scent. You don't want them dead. Like yeah, I just know? thought he was sus of the witch's scent in general because like they don't like yeah. you know. Yeah, mm. I wonder also what Garfield's gonna look like when he transforms. <laughs> when he's super, it's yeah. just so funny. His name is Garfield too. Federica, Maybe Federica he'll be a looked cat. like a beast. <laughs> yeah, and there, and also Federica and him like Federica are they're half siblings and she's. Mom it, is a human and the dad's a mix, so I'm like, damn, yeah. girl. And she's so, able to come in out, out of the forest at, at will. And she, but yeah. she can go super beast mode still too with that like one yeah. percent mix. Yeah, so he must be like, yeah, he must be a, a big gonna, boy. He's gonna be a bigger cat. Big boy. What, what, boy. If, what if he literally is Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's made fighting moves to sit on you. <laughs> Lasagna. Um, Lasagna. <laughs> So I was kind of surprised, like, so Beatrice and Super were in uh, in her special, like, library room. And we can talk in a moment about how cool it is that she has, like, kind of the future in her book. Mm-hmm. But I was kind of surprised that Elsa could enter that room. I, right, right? I kind of thought that room was, like, untouchable, but she yeah, she still came in and, like, killed Subaru. And I'm wondering if, like, uh, Beatrice knew that was going to happen as well. I feel like, cause, yeah, because she didn't. I didn't really get that because like she like saved him, but they ended up dying anyways. So like um, either I because f- like she has that book, so I feel like she's definitely connected with the whole. I mean, she's definitely magical. Maybe she is one of the witches. Maybe she is a witch. And yeah. and real quick side note, she said for mother is Elsa. The mother? Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I was gonna I, say no. he was Satella. Satella. I mean, yeah. yeah. So Satella is the mother, and Puck is the father. Like, I don't know. No father to fuck. Oh, I don't know. Puck, Puck is the father. Right? We are reaching. I don't know. Right. I just want to say she's a father to obviously. Uh, Puck what's is her name? Puck is only father to Amelia. To Amelia. Yeah, Amelia. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the black book. Hmm. I think that um, the reason why Elsa was able to get into the room was because Beatrice was distracted, but like she was trying to defend herself from Subaru, mm-hmm. and forgot to like control the room mm-hmm. and the door. So. Maybe that's why Elsa was able to enter. Or yeah. they're connected. Eh. I don't know. I don't, see, I don't, I just, I don't want to connect that. I don't want to connect that just yet. There's just so many <laughs> moving pieces right I now. Know, man. Yeah, every yeah, every episode, pieces. it's like an overwhelming amount of twists in the yeah. show. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know what is happening. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, yeah. I'm glad you liked this episode, Nahid, because t- this one to me was a little difficult. Like there was, the, oh, it, it was, it was, it was like a lot of awkwardness. No man, I get weird. it. The, the reason I get it is because like you know, he, he Sewer is in, in, a, in a weird position where like 
you know, where he has died and come back so many lives. He feels like he knows things and he sees things ahead of time. But then, like, it, I, I, it's, it's kind of crazy. He doesn't really have anybody. I feel like that he trusts except for those three girls, you know. Mm-hmm. And like now in this episode, he has found someone else, another guy that like, if he resets back, he can count on them. He can count on Otto to like have his back or to like you know trust in situations because Otto mm-hmm. is his friend now and he knows this is this is his way of knowing that he can trust Otto for anything. Then, uh, then as sad as the show gets, sometimes I bet they're gonna kill Otto off. Oh, shut oh, up. God. <laughs> I think they're going to do oh, it. God. I, I, hope they don't. Don't. No. I hope they don't. And I bet you right now if they did, Subaru would try to save him because... Yeah, he'd be like... You know? Yeah. And if anything, bro, that was probably a shock for Subaru, bro. He would do some fucking hell, man. Like I said, bro, you know, he's him and Mark Grayson, man, are the characters I feel like are punching bags in the shows that I'm watching. What if we just don't get any of the answers at the end like one time he kills himself and it just like sends him back to the oh real world and that's oh, it. i don't want that and then that's it and then, you know, then and he's just like well that was crazy it would be a mark, weird fever dream and mark had when you shared that thing that the author said that, that his parents really don't it, it makes the show a lot more easier to like understand and swallow mm. a little bit i'm just being honest because i was thrown off for the longest time about not worrying about the extraneous stuff, but knowing that he's been gone for two weeks and then, like, his parents are just, like, looking for him and that he's actually physically gone somewhere else is very, very sad and it makes the world a lot more real. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I, I guess I'm more just trying to focus on, like, the more uh, philosophical conversations of the show. Yeah. But yeah, o- overall, I still think it's, like, yeah, there's a it's lot aight. of them. It's aight. Well, uh, let's jump to the next one. Bye. Bye. Peace. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, and a big shout out to Big Tasty, Doppelganger, Michelle, Sakif, Clayton, Harry, Explorin', Dane, Mr. Momus, Joe Mags, Ian, Daniel, Yusuf, Kadeem, ZJP, and Keyboard Junkie. Thanks guys!